like 6.30 in the morning. We're right in the middle of packing for the season. We leave for Toledo Bend tomorrow morning to kick off the 2024 Elite Series season. About five days ago, I got a call from Bassmaster. They said, hey, we need you at an appearance. And I'm thinking, we're gonna fly to Birmingham, Alabama. I don't have the time for this. They said, no, 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 no. You gotta meet us in Fort Worth. We're gonna announce the Bassmaster Classic. Today, we find out which of our beautiful lakes in the DFW area we will be fishing in 2025. So let's go in here and check this thing out. All right, that was an awesome little meeting here with all the officials of Fort Worth. And it is official, the 2025 Bassmaster Classic will be on Lake Ray Roberts. This is huge news. Selfishly, that's my home lake, man, Lake Ray Roberts. And to have it in March instead of June this time around, I am so freaking excited about it. Thank you to Fort Worth, everyone involved for bringing this event. Thank you to Bass. I mean, that's just absolutely amazing. You know, last time we were kind of slowed down by COVID a little bit. That ain't gonna happen in 2025. So it is my job for the rest of the season to make the classic. We missed it in 2024, but 2025, Bassmaster Classic, I'm gonna make sure I make that thing. And it starts tomorrow. So I'm gonna go home, just a 25 minute drive home, bright and early. We drive five hours to Toledo Bend. And that is the first tournament of the year to qualify for Lake Ray Roberts 2025. So we got a huge, huge, huge week ahead of us. See, this is why I love Fort Worth. I'm about to give my valet card to the valet team right here. They parked me up front. And in Fort Worth, if you're a CEO or a professional bass fisherman, they treat you like royalty. Look at that, front row. How about that? Right next to the Range Rover. All right, I got a cool little story for you guys here. Last year, around February or March, we were down there in Florida. About the time I stopped catching them, Trait lost the diamond in her engagement ring that I gave her, and we were just absolutely crushed. It's been weighing heavily on me the last few months, obviously. And here I am in the RV doing some vacuuming, and I look down, boom! The $12,000 diamond from her engagement ring. We thought it was somewhere in Florida, but how do you know it's gonna be a good season? That guy right there, so pumped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't fail me. We got it. Does this mean you're gonna catch fish? That's a good start. That's the opposite start of the year. Like, complete opposite start. been here yesterday but hey it's an RV right things always go wrong I had to fix the water heater yesterday it took me like six hours glad we did cuz uh, I don't know what happened in the weather it's been like 70 degrees for a whole week mid-February now it's uh, 34 35 degrees so but we're gonna have a steady warming trend throughout the week fishing wise it should get pretty nutty but we're gonna finish uh, setting up the RV here and we got a podcast later tonight with the one and only Seth fighter so we made it to practice got the Cabela's VSX camo on I heard a lot of the areas that I wanted to fish yesterday were like a parking lot there was a 450 boat high school tournament I called the dude and he reported they were boats were everywhere so 
But yesterday was the post front day and today is when that warming trend starts. We got fog this morning so we're gonna launch here and go fish some of those areas that I wanted to hit yesterday but there were just way too many boats around so day two. So foggy, I don't know which way I'm going. It's a great time to run a bass boat on a 180,000 acre lake. <laughs> no, this ain't right. Uh, I'm going up the hill. I'm just guessing. A couple more feet, don't hit anything. <laughs> Always go with your instinct. But the boat lanes here on Toledo Bend are super narrow. And if you get outside of them by 20 feet, like one boat length, you're in timber. And seeing the boat lanes this morning is going to be a challenge. Even with your GPS, it's, it's tough. into a creek here that's got like no timber no grass so the only thing they could really get on is docks and I've smashed them through here before it's a nice one swimmer fish I had to check that shallow stuff Water temperature is like 53, 54. At some point they'll push in here, but I want to check this area. I've caught some mega bags out of this little gut right here that leads into huge grass flats. I mean, you could spend two days fishing grass all through here, but I'd much rather spend my time fishing for pre-spawn out like open water stuff. So let's do that now. I thought that was a fucking hoss, dude. Got her, big one. No, she's tiny. He hit it like a ton of bricks. It's because that's a spot. I thought that was a giant, dude. It's like smoked it. Dude, I had to stop looking at that screen. Gosh, I've been doing it for a day and a half. Pick up the swimmer and that's two bites in five minutes.
lot warmer this morning. Practice is a wrap and today is picture day. How about that? We're all dressed up, ready to go. The last three days of practice, I mean, every morning I was bundled up like four layers deep, beanie, the whole nine yards. Now, like our, our temperatures are in the 60s and 70s going into the tournament here. So a lot's changing. Uh, just a quick rundown of practice. You saw some of the some of the fish catches there. You know, basically it started out with that, you know, little jig headed minnow doing the pinging, forward facing sonar stuff, suspended in trees, caught some fish doing that. Had a pretty good day the first day. Second day kind of sucked. I was bouncing around post frontal and caught some fish on a swim bait, jerk bait. And then yesterday I pulled into a little area. There were fish loaded in it. There were like four and five pounders all over the place. I had my hook roll back on my swim bait they'd come up and just boom boom so it went from 40 degree temperatures 50 then 60 degree temperatures and it was jig headed minnow jerk bait then swim bait and it's gonna be a swim bait through the rest of the tournament so should be a fun day but today it's the first day back at school yet again we got a whole rookie class like nine rookies who are all forward facing snipers I got to compete with this week hopefully that swim bait pulls out for me but um, let's go check in let's do the whole boat check and all that stuff it's literally right next door so we don't have to drive far so let's go do that right now all right this is the takeoff site here and we are getting in line to do our pictures. I woke up early this morning wiping everything down. Totally unnecessary, but you gotta look good on day one, right? I mean, it's like going back to school. Man, your backpack's fresh, brand new binders, pens, pencils. And then like first week, first tournament week, things are just a disaster. Things everywhere, your pencils are all broken and lost. Your binders, like the corners are all curled over. Mm-mm-mm. Only downside is it's an old boys school. It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What's up, Russ? Hey, Good to see you. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Hey, break, huh? Yes, sir. Man, they're all. You're gonna see everyone with them next year. It's so getting out of control, is what it's oh, getting. Good. Yeah. So this order, front to back. Got it. Okay. This side first. Okay. So front to back. These are different. So here so and then these two. Series. Yep, Have got it. Be the most forward and then in the bass. bass. Got it. Back. Perfect. How have you been? Good. good. Yeah, really good. Busy. Good. Busy. Busy. Good. Yeah, Hot yeah, cash. yeah, yeah. Still cranking. Thank you for everything, awesome. Chris. I remember back in 2012 when uh, I first put this on my my boat when I was a rookie. Oh, dude, just the feeling of putting this decal on my boat was just something else. Proud. Here we are 13 years later, still surviving, making a living, catching fish. All right, next stage. We got Kyle Jesse on the camera. Look at that. We got Philip here showing up to the first event. Chase Anderson. He didn't How look. Good nice to see you. Hey, Chris. Mr. Chase Anderson. Good, good to, to see you, you man. Yes, again, it's been a while. Who are you again? Hey, it's good to see you. I just watched you for an hour and a half on the way down here. What's Kept that? Away. I just watched the fighter. Yeah, it was kind of tame, huh? Yeah. It was kind of a running gunner. It's fun. Yeah. Not all of them have to be crazy. Yeah. Good, Kyle? You're all good, man. Thanks, brother. Thank Go you, guys. the hill. Appreciate you guys. Thank right. you so much. Be a good season. Uh, this is a Solix 12. Uh, the Lorance uh, uh, Pro, HDS Pro. And the Garmin 8612 Saltwater. Wow. They're surveying the height of the graphs, too. You know, Bass is a top-notch organization, and I could only assume that that's for safety. Look at Davey over there with the tape measure. Uh, he's looking at the seat height to the top of the graph measurement there. I mean, think about that. I mean, you know, it's getting crazy, right? There's 22-inch units out there, and if your seats sit really, really low, unlike this Nitro here, I mean, vision is an absolute problem. It's a safety issue, so. Kudos to them for surveying and collecting this data here to make the right adjustments. No, uh, no. Yo, 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 yo. Great questions, love it. Collect the data, make the decisions after. Right. Good job, guys. And then uh, battery types? Uh, lithium Battleborn. I've got seven, three, six, six. Six lithiums, what's our battery? I'm sorry, five, I'm sorry, five lithiums, one AGM. Wow. That's yeah. <laughs> Two for those damn electronics and then yo, yo, Okay. Fantastic. Cool. Beautiful. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks, James. Uh, appreciate, appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, Davey. Uh, yep. Thank you. Alright. Next up, headshots, and then we're done. So I'm I'm just <laughs> confirming all my, you know, information and stats and things. Residence, Fort Worth, born 9 11 84 
total bass events fished 135. I've like that's that it goes by so fast. Okay. I think I'm gonna try. Might not have any arms. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Just anywhere behind that tape line, and we'll go straight on. Right, well, how you doing, man? Is that right? Yeah. All right, we got done with headshots, we got done with registration, checking in, boat checks, all that stuff. We did three days of practice. We had some fish catches there. Again, practice was uh, was very, very cold, and now it is almost 80 degrees out here. And you know what happened? Late February, early March in East Texas, the big, big girls show up. So thank you guys for hanging out. From traveling from my house in the RV with the dogs to practice to registration, a little bit of behind the scenes of how things go down, prepping for the season. Appreciate you all support. We got a tournament to get started tomorrow. We got a year to start tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys follow along with me. I wanna get that first tournament win in 2024. I've been doing it 13 years and all this stuff never gets old. So I'm gonna go back to the house, rig up a few more things, and I'm gonna enjoy this warm up. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.